Look at these. You've probably seen these in drawings before. Have you ever seen one in real life? These are the new 5G autonomous buses from Yutong. And I'm here today because they've invited me to the city of Zhengzhou to participate in their award ceremony for the Red Dot Award. As you can imagine, the company of Yutong is very proud of this achievement. And from what I've seen, they have every right to be. Across the street from the factory is the offices and the R&D department, which I've been invited to come and check it out. Today's a big day for the company of Yutong. They're getting the Red Dot Award. Now I've visited these R&D departments and they're very, very <laughs> interesting. Obviously I can't film in there, but I gotta tell you what I've seen will blow your mind. So what is the Red Dot Award anyways? The Red Dot is an award for high design quality. The International Jury for the Red Dot Award, Product Design only awards this sought after seal of quality to products that feature an outstanding design. In 2021, in the category of commercial vehicle, it is presented to this, the Xiaoyu 2.0 Autonomous Bus, designed and manufactured by the Zhengzhou Yutong Company in Zhengzhou, Henan Province, China. The Red Dot Award started in 1954, so a little over 60 years. The Red Dot Design Award is an internationally recognized global top industrial design award, which integrates authority, professionalism, and influence. It consists of 51 groups, which are evaluated by world-renowned design experts. The selection criteria are innovative performance, practical function, modeling quality, ergonomics, durability, emotional and symbolic connotation, innovation, ease of use, environmental protection, all of these factors come together to the Red Dot Award. The Xiaoyu 2.0 is a 5-meter L4 automatic driving microcirculation bus, high-quality interior decoration, and an immersive, intelligent, interactive experience. It seats 8 to 10 people, has a range of 100 to 150 kilometers, a charging time of 1 to 2 hours, on an LFP 70 kilowatt hour battery and an automatic driving speed of 40 kilometers per hour. As a guest of Yutong, they've actually uh, given me the honor of writing my name on one of these nameplates and placing it on the, uh, on the wall here. Thank you very much. I'm going to put my English name and my Chinese name. My Chinese writing is not very good though. You know? <laughs> there it is. So as the guests are starting to arrive, they're taking them around to like the R&D center, which they're not gonna let me film in there, but they've got some clay models in there and stuff, and it's really, really neat. The show's gonna get started here very soon. Certain people from Europe were not able to come, but they're gonna be connected via the internet. So this is a first class uh, little ceremony here. And as you'll see in my next video, uh, as I go for a ride on this thing in the city, you'll see just how amazing this technology uh, really is. Check it out, I'm honored right there. This ceremony is being broadcast live all around the world. They've provided me with a translator and there's a little gentleman in a booth right over there who's going to be translating it. As the celebration continued into the afternoon, 
we were enthralled by design concept presentations, speeches, and a fascinating panel discussion of experts on the topic of autonomous transportation and what it means for our future. There's a link for the entire show in the description below. Over my next couple of videos, I will be diving deep into the Xiaoyu 2.0. The spotlight needs to be lit for this incredible team of designers and engineers for their passion and hard work. Together with the rest of Yutong, they are truly deserving of this recognition by the international design community.